If you are a Ravens fan or a Lamar Jackson fan, this is the last play that you remember. Coach, people are used to call it. Oh, look at this in the snap. Back to the five, and Jackson just has to fire it away. This offseason, the Raven High Fathers have heard your cries, your pain, and your prayers. So? This offseason, they made some moves to build around Lamar Jackson. And they signed injury-prone Sammy Watkins. Hey, someone had to say it, but the dude can't stay healthy. But his name sounds very good on paper. Sammy Watkins is about to give Greg Roman a whole hell of a lot of excuses because now if the Ravens have a game plan to throw the ball down the field and Sammy Watkins is not available, they can blame it on him by saying, oh, well, you know, our game plan, we were gonna throw the ball down the field a little bit more, but Sammy Watkins wasn't available. I get it, Ravens, smart move. In the draft, they got receivers Rashad Bateman and Tylen Wallace. Now, it's hard to say how their careers would end up with the Baltimore Ravens because, you know, historically, the Baltimore Ravens do not do a good job with developing wide receivers, but hey, there's a first time for everything, and if the Cleveland Browns can make it to the playoffs, God damn it, anything is possible. So I don't want to say if they're going to be bad or good. I am not going to pretend that I'm psychic like the media tries to portray to the audience, but I do want to see these guys succeed and build a chemistry with Lamar Jackson. Saying that the Ravens need help from the wide receiver position has always been a feeble analysis to me. The only reason people talk about the Ravens passing game is because the Ravens were last in passing yards. But these so-called football experts never talk about the fact that Lamar Jackson had more passing yards per attempt than Justin Herbert and Kyler Murray and Drew Brees. I know Drew Brees did not play a full season and Justin Herbert is just a rookie, but to the media, those three guys are considered way better passers than Lamar Jackson. But it seems like when Lamar Jackson is judged based on how he throws the ball, it's more, it seems like it has more to do with yards because when it comes to touchdown passes, in which you would think that would be more of what the media talks about, Lamar Jackson is up there with the elite when it comes to touchdown passes. I mean, his MVP year, he throws 36 touchdown passes in 15 games, and he didn't even play like every quarter, every time. Then last year, he throws 26 touchdown passes, which is 10 passing touchdowns less, and he did that in 15 games. So it's not like he has a passing problem. It just has more to do with passing yards. So remember, the reason why the Ravens are getting all these receivers is so that Lamar Jackson can have more passing yards. Yes, that sounds kind of weak, but that's the only reason. But in my opinion, I think this situation has more to do with Greg Roman than Lamar Jackson. If Greg Roman does not find a way to use all of these new athletes on the Baltimore Ravens offense, he is going to get fired simply because of Greg Roman's lack of creativity. Now, why does the Baltimore Ravens offense lack creativity under Greg Roman? I think it's simply because the Ravens rely on Lamar Jackson's improvisation within his athleticism, which gives an unpretentious Ravens offense natural creativity. Now, when the Baltimore Ravens cannot rely on Lamar Jackson's athleticism, you can tell the whole offense, including the head coach and offensive coordinator, starts to panic, and the passing tree looks very amateur. If Rashad Bateman and Tylen Wallace can be Pro Bowl receivers, I think the Baltimore Ravens are that much more closer to hoisting a Lombardi Trophy.